Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to look at mountain and rock textures. It was a suggestion from a viewer called Imaz Edge. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, if you remember the last video we looked at rustic lands and it doesn't contain any mountain or rock textures. So if you are interested in using that mod then this video is going to look at five mountain textures mods and uh, you can pick which, whichever one you think's best. So let's have a quick look at the mods we're going to be using. The first one is Blended One Mountain, it's actually the smallest mod which is 4.14 megabytes. Then we've got Northern Realistic Rocks Red. Some of these have multiple versions of them so I just went for the one which interests me the most. Uh, that's 36.58 megabytes. All of the uh, mods are about the same size except for the blended one. Next one up is North Fires Photo Real Mountains, which is just under 40 megabytes. And then we have Real Mountains RB Brown, which is 37.26 megabytes. Again, this one has multiple versions. I just went for the one that I like the look of the most. And then Smooth But Rugged Mountains, uh, 28.53 megabytes, which is the smallest of the main four. Don't let the size of the mods fool you because although um, the Blended Mountains is, what is the smallest mod by far, it's actually not the worst looking in my opinion. So first up we've got Blended One Mountains and when I first seen these textures I immediately thought these are vanilla. Uh, while they do look to be using the vanilla textures they are actually a lot clearer so in the next screen we'll have a closer look at that. Then we've got Northern Realistic Rocks, really not um, my favourite of all the mods. Uh, as we'll go in further in the video, you'll see the the amount of um, like detail loss when you get up close is quite a lot. Uh, I think it's probably down to like the contrast as well. It may be my fault for choosing the red version. Maybe the lighter ones are more clearer. Here we've got North Fires Photo Real Mountains. Again, don't look too bad. A uh, nice amount of detail. We'll see it all uh, closer up in the next screen. And we'll also have close ups of them with the snow on as well, but later in the video. Here we have Real Mountains RB Brown. Again, not bad. When we get to the next screen, we shall discuss the details in there, each of the mods a bit better because we'll be able to see them a lot clearer. And then finally, we've got my favourite, which is Smooth But Rugged Mountains. I think on the whole, the amount of detail in this mod is probably the nicest, although you may disagree. And as we move on, Sorry, I keep saying in the next screen, it's the one after this one. <laughs> but we can still see them there without any snow on. And the blended one. Really, considering it's just over 4 megabytes, did impress me quite a lot. These are 2K versions of the vanilla textures, uh, I believe. So, we'll compare them to the vanilla textures in the next screen. Again, this Northern Realistic Red. It is good because it changes the whole colour of the mountains that you're used to. Obviously the vanilla, ma vanilla mountains are all grey and this adds a nice red colour to it. At a distance it, it is cool to kind of have that different look but really when we see the close up it's not that great. North fires again, not looking too bad there. I'd probably put this in my top three with the um, RB Brown and Smooth But Rugged. I'd say in terms of actual detail, I think it probably is between this one and RB Brown. 
uh, Abby Brown's coming up next, so you can get a look at that one. See, we've got a lot of, if you look at the right hand side, just in the foreground, that rock there has got like a nice uh, amount of dimpling on it, it looks like. So it kind of looks like it's uh, got a bit more depth to it than some of the other textures. I know smooth but rugged can look a little flat, uh, even though it's meant to be smooth, it does still have um, like depth to it with like bits of rock breaking away from it, which we'll see closer in a minute. And then we've got smooth but rugged mountains. Um, as I've said, nice amount of detail, does look a little flat, which sounds stupid because it's meant to be smooth, but you don't quite get that depth that RB Brown gave you with um, its texture. Because don't forget, none of these meshes have actually been changed, so they are, they are all using exactly the same models for the mountains, it's just the texture's changing. Here we go finally, close up screens that I've been talking about. So you can see there blended one mountain, doesn't look too bad at all. Uh, there is a texture join and seam running right down the middle of that rock in the foreground there. But uh, I think most of the textures that we look at today suffer from that to some degree. So I'm not going to be too harsh on this one for that, but coming up now we've got the vanilla texture so you'll see that it is an identical texture it's just um, a 2k version I believe it said in the mod notes so there's the vanilla you can see the all the patterns and that are the same on the rock so they are the same two texture it's just that the color is uh, made a bit more vibrant in um, blended one and there's a lot more detail when you get closer up to it as well And here you can get a close, clear look at more than realistic rocks uh, red light. As I said, the, t the detail in this texture kind of falls down when you get close to it. It's not my favorite texture. It does look good from a distance, as I said, having the different color mountains than we used to from the vanilla game. But um, if you're someone who absolutely has to have uh, flawless detail, in all your textures then maybe this one's just gonna just niggle at you and annoy you a little bit every time you walk past it north fires photo reel nice amount of detail when you get up close colors aren't too bad um, there's a nice balance of the greys and that in there. It doesn't look as flat as the vanilla one. If you go back a couple of shots, you'll see the vanilla one. You'll see what I mean, where it's just kind of a flat, sad grey. Not too bad. Not too much to uh, talk about with this one. Um, it doesn't really fall down in any places. It doesn't really blow me away either. But it is probably, as I said before, one of the top three. We've got Real Mountains RB brand, there's that seam running straight down the centre again. I did mention that I like the fact that there was seemed to be a lot more depth in the texture on the last screen. Maybe just falling a bit flat when we see it up close. There is a bit of detail lost there. Um, so, I don't know, I'm undecided on that one. Again, all these look nice from a distance, um, but detail wise, when you get up close, this might annoy you if you're a stickler for details. Smooth but rugged mountains. Doesn't look too bad, like I said, does look a little flat. That may be down to the fact that, as I've said in some of my past videos, when you try and use a 3D effect on a flat 2D texture, it can fall down a bit. So all those layers of cracked rock there kind of do show um, that the illusion does fall down when you get a bit closer. 
just thought I'd get a wide shot of the city of Markarth so you can kind of see how these textures all hold up at a distance. Not really to mention on these shots really. See would you, I don't know if I consider that to look a bit of a mess. It's the kind of, it's the same deal with the graphics pack. The graphics pack has a lot of detail in its textures, but it kind of comes across really murky and um, gloomy, especially when you're in dungeons. That's kind of uh, the case with this one, I'd say. Photo Real Mountains doesn't look too bad there. Doesn't really um, fall flat at a distance. There is does seem to be a nice amount of detail and like actual texture to the mountains with that one. I wonder how uh, some of the others are going to hold up, especially the smooth but rugged at a distance. Real mountains, again, when you look at it at this distance, I do really like it. There's a lot of texture to the mountains. There's a nice amount of detail. Kind of like all the rocks kind of look weathered. There's different tones in there. If just when you go up close, you kind of see the, um, the cracks in the paint, as it were. Not as bad as northern realistic rocks. But um, as I said, if you're an absolute stickler for quality and detail, then it might just annoy you a bit. Especially when you've got mods like Skyland, which do the rocks very nice. And it is an all-encompassing mod, Skyland, so you don't need to worry about um, all the other landscapes as well. Smooth Put Rugged Mountains. Not bad, not too much variation in the tone there, it is just kind of all like grey. Not um, overly impressed with that at a distance. I actually thought when I was recording the footage that this was one of my favourites, but looking back at it compared to the others, I think it's probably um, not as good as I thought it was. It's not terrible, I'm just not crazy on it. Just as these screens go past, I will talk about the fact that I am using Rustic Lands uh, to test these mods. Obviously Rustic Lands is only 250 odd megabytes, so if you're modding on a budget, it's a good alternative to mods like Skylands, which can be about a gigabyte. Um, for you know the good version or 500 megabytes for the 1k version so if you were to combine rustic lands with one of these mods which average about 35 megabytes then you're coming in under 300 megabytes for a full uh, landscape retexture which is very good obviously if you use blends of one mountains then you know, you're under 260 megabytes for a, a complete retexture and those two uh, mods together, whatever my own mod you choose and rustic lands, uh, is pretty good for the size. So, you know, I, um, for anyone thinking, oh, I wouldn't choose any of these mods over Skyland or even Vivid Landscapes then you know when it comes down to the amount of space that you save then it could look as a, like a good alternative so with the next few screens we're going to look at focus on the snow on the rocks so we can compare how that is because that is a place that some mods uh, most often fall down is use putting the snow over the textures so let's take a look Blended one does a good job. You got that kind of powdery snow over the texture. 
which is what we want to see uh, as it's just a higher version of a the vanilla textures then that's pretty much what we expect to see moving on at first glance this doesn't look that great but when you think about it is if you look at the ones and further in the distance it does create a good effect it's not too bad it's just again when we go close to uh, this texture it kind of falls down but uh, you know mid to long range distance it, it does look uh, pretty good quite effective in fact that's no effect on it uh, I like it just again up close uh, I'm not crazy about it North Fire's photo reel again gone for that powdery snow again which is what we want to see it's quite a good effect I know I've covered some mods in the past where they've put snow on uh, over the textures and it's just kind of like a white mesh just thrown over the texture I complained about it in my Forest of the Bella video uh, some of the snow on the leaves look bad and I think me last Skyrim video I, uh, Skyland video I also pointed it out as well as you can see here again it's what we want to see nice powdery snow over the texture nice gradient from the white texture into the actual mountain texture instead of just a sudden drop off smooth but rugged mountains has uh, got that part of the snow effect although because the texture itself is kind of uh, a lot lighter than the other mods it doesn't stand out so much it kind of blends in with the actual texture of the mountain final screen now um, just got this shot because it kind of looked nice so where are we on the textures now we've done the whole video I would say I'm probably for real mountains RB brown myself as I said when you go closer to the texture uh, it does kind of fall down a little bit detail wise but um, you know unless you're really scrutinizing the texture you're not gonna see that it is a uh, very good uh, color wise adds a nice amount of depth when you look at it from a distance so I would probably go for that one myself although smooth but rugged mountains isn't nicely detailed I just thought it was a little too flat uh, I don't know if that's because it tries to emulate the um, you know the fact that all the rocks are cracked and there's bits of shale and slate sliding off them. Uh, North Fire photo realistic mountains again not a bad one at all. Nice amount of detail in that. I um, you know I wouldn't turn my nose up at that one. The Northern realistic rocks red. Uh, I, I may have been harsh on it in this video um, again you know as long as you're not scrutinizing it it's not bad it, it's good the way it completely changes the color of the mountains and it's not the only one available there is at least, I think five different versions of that one so you might find one that looks a bit better I don't really see why the detail would be more um, would hold up better in any of the other versions but you know if you want to completely change the look of Skyrim with red mountains then you know it's not terrible I just wouldn't get into the habit of getting too close and staring at it and blended one mountains considered it's only four megabytes 
just over four megabytes there's a nice amount of detail to it it is just the vanilla rocks but the colors are a bit balanced it makes it look a bit nicer than the vanilla ones and there is a bit more detail there so you know for four megabytes you certainly can't tear your nose up uh, let me know which one you like in the comments and if you do have a suggestion for a video drop that in the comments also i can't believe i've waffled on for 20 minutes so i'm gonna end the video here and i shall see you next time